Well, if you're as old as I am, you know that before the internet, we had newsletters. That's how we kept up to date on new ideas and stuff like that. And now what they're creating is newsletters again, but on the internet. <laughs> and it's a growth industry because there's so much information out there that people are subsidizing. I mean, uh, you could be an expert in pickles. <laughs> I just love pickles and find other people that love pickles. And now there's a platform where you could put your information on there and they do the accounting and, and process the money. They take like 5% or whatever it is, and you get all the rest. So you don't have to find a publisher. They're self-publishing. It's sort of like if you wrote a book now, you could go on uh, Amazon and sell your book, right? That's like a book before you had to get a publisher and print the book and go in the bookstore. and everything. No, you do it all at home. <laughs> it costs you no money. And for nothing, zero, you're in the biggest publisher uh, the biggest bookstore in the world, which is Amazon. So now newsletters are getting like that. And that's a way to get regular revenue. People you know, will pay $10 a month, $10 a week, $10 a day or whatever for your idea. And there's platforms that handle all the problems. In other words, like uh, we're using Airbnb for an extra little apartment we have. Okay, so I don't have to put an ads in. I don't have to worry about getting paid. I don't have to worry about anything. I put it there. And people are coming there looking for apartments. And it's so easy. And I give them a little bit, bit of the money. So that's what the technology is. So if you have an interest in anything, anything, you'd be surprised. And just start doing it. It costs nothing. Go to one of these sites. There's about three of them. Now, now actually, Facebook is getting into it. See, and they'll charge the money and all that kind of stuff. That's the pain in the ass. <laughs> so now being a business is really easy because you don't have to do all the business stuff. All, you know, the platforms take care of all the business stuff <laughs> and you just be creative. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but anyway. So here's the other platforms. One is called Substack, S-U-B-S-T-A-C-K. And that came out a few years ago and people see uh, these big writers are even coming there. They're, they're not working for the New York Times or these big publications anymore. They're starting their own audience because now the platform does it all for them. See, before you had to go with a big person. So these big publications, everything are going to lose all the good authors because the authors could set up their own thing for nothing. And it's easy. So you could do it too. And maybe you're not a national audience. It doesn't matter. You could just write about the Cub Scout group where you live. <laughs> People will buy that. Somebody, you never know. Uh, so you try it and see. Here's the other one too. It's called Get Review. G-E-T-R-E-V-U-E. -E. So you have three of them there now. Get Review, Substack, S-U-B-S-T-A-C-K. And now watch it because <laughs> Facebook is going to have it too. Put them on all three. What the hell? They cost nothing. And actually, what's interesting about Facebook, they have a community already. The others, I don't know how big they are and that you could get subscribers from people are coming there already. You know, Facebook, it may be more likely, but uh, you know, I don't know anything about it. So you'll see. So start, if you have an area of interest, you want to help people, uh, you know, buy wine. You want to help people <laughs> play better soccer. So you go out and do the research because you love that. See, you love studying in soccer. You love wine. <laughs> you love pickles or whatever it is. And you do the research and just share the research. You got, hey, look at these new purple pickles I found. <laughs> and people just want to know about pickles. And you'll find people who are pickle <laughs> people. <laughs> Pickle people. <laughs> Are you a pickle people person? I guess that is. So that's it. See, and, and now you could start a business. No money, nothing. Sure, you have to get customers, but that's okay. Because particularly Facebook, it may be. But, but that's the important thing. See, all the other stuff is taken care of. That's why any business you start, the important things can come. So then you do, you go to other platforms, other media. You, you do a pickle review on YouTube and see if anybody's interested in that. You do a pickle review on Facebook or whatever. Yeah, you know, just, you know, you don't know where it is. Just do anything that comes to your mind, your head. Try it and see what happens. It'll probably fail. That's okay. <laughs> then you think of another one. <laughs> That's what I do. Man, after uh, doing three businesses and getting all the money and doing all the... I was taught in MBA school and I failed. The third business is, I'm not going to spend a nickel, man. 
And that's the way they grew because I didn't spend any money growing them. I just do it from the ground up. <laughs> and that's the way to do anything. Well, that's my biased way of doing anything. So remember, write your pickle newsletter.